Hello and welcome to Quick Tips. In the last video, we saw how to create a blog post template in Elementor. So this is the blog post template that we created in the last video. Now in this video, we will see how to create a blog page template in Elementor. The blog page is the page on your website where all the blog posts are shown. So it is a kind of archive where all the blog posts are listed on this blog page. Now we are going to create the blog page and after that we will see how the default layout of the blog page looks and after that we are going to customize the blog page layout in Elementor. So on this website we have Elementor, Elementor Pro and we are using Astra theme. So let's see how we can create the blog page first. Right now we do not have blog page created on this website. So we are going to create a blog page. So I'm already logged into the dashboard of the website. Go to pages, then go to add new page. Now name it as blog and leave the other settings as it is and click on publish. Right now it is only a page. Now we are going to assign it as a blog page. So let's go back to the dashboard. They go to settings and then go to reading. Okay, now here you will see post page. So change it to blog. So this blog page that we created will be shown as the post page. All the posts will be listed on this particular page. So change it to blog and click on save changes. Okay, so we have assigned this blog page where all the blogs post will be listed. So let's refresh the pages. Now here you will see the blog page that we created. Right click and click on view. So this is the layout of the blog page. This is the default layout of the blog page in Astra theme. You can see that all the blog posts are listed one by one. Okay, so this is the default layout. Okay, now we are going to change this layout and we are going to customize this layout we are going to make it look professional blog page so let's go back to the dashboard and after that go to templates and go to saved templates so we are going to create a template for the blog page click on add new select archive name it as blog page or whatever name you want you can change the name click on create template now here you will see the default layouts if you want to choose any one of them you can choose here we are going to create a new template so just close this one add new section and we are going to add some padding here let's add padding of 60 let's have it 50 now this is the top section it's a kind of header whatever changes you want to make you can customize it you can change the style i'm going to change the background color then i'll add title here as central line change the color right now let's add a new section add some padding all right here now select this archive post drag it and drop it here all right so now this is the layout the default layout okay now here you can change the settings of this layout classic cards and full content let's change it to cards and you will see the categories mentioned here here is the author image if you have any author image it will show here so i think the cards layout looks good now this is the number of columns you can change it to four or you can change it to two let's change it back to three show image if you want to show image show otherwise you can select no and the image will go okay now let's change it back to yes right now we do not have images for all the blog posts because this is a dummy website now if you want to change the layout to masonry you can change it to on 
and you will see the difference here title now let's see this is the title okay now if you change it it will remove the excerpt this is the excerpt basically these are all the settings you can see the title is h3 tag if i disable this one you will see that the title will be removed so let's change it back to show now these are the settings you can change the settings if you do not want to show the date you can simply click on this cross button it will go now comments how many comments it will show here you can delete that also and these are the settings that you can add here comments time date author if i add author you will see the author name will show here admin123 is the default author so let's delete this one and let's add date so it will show the date when the blog post has been published this is the separator read more if you want to show this button read more you can show it here if you disable it it will go if you want to open it in new window you can select this one and it will when you click on it it will open in the new window badge this is the badge the category badge it's gone now let's show it and what do you want to show on the badge so right now it shows categories tags formats product categories product tags so set it to categories this is avatar if you do not want to show it you can disable it this is the avatar it's gone okay now pagination is nothing but on a single blog page it lists only 10 blog posts so if you have more than 10 blog posts then it will show pagination here to go to previous page and to go to next page so you can change those settings here also number of blog posts shown on the page right now it shows 10 you can change that number too and here is the page limit advanced settings now these are the style settings if you go to style you will see the column gap this is the column gap we can change to let's say right now it is on 30 we can change it to 20 okay you see the change here row gap and let's change it to 20 okay now cards these are the settings for the cards these are the background color if you change the color let's let's try some different color here let's try this one and you will see the color has been changed you can adjust the color let's undo the color okay you will see the changes to the style here whatever changes you want to make you can make on this from here image these are the image settings content color title text color everything is here you just need to play with the settings and you will be able to customize the layout right now this is the default layout now let me publish this one add condition all archives let's change it to post archives so we are going to assign this template only for the post archives okay now let's save and close okay now now look at this default one now we are going to refresh it and you will see the change in the block page layout that we just created here all right so this is how all the blog posts will be listed on the blog page okay so you can play with the style settings and you can make it beautiful using these style settings all right so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video thanks for watching quick tips